In this video, we'll be exploring how to export or core data motion captures to GLTF. In order to go through this tutorial, you'll need to check our previous video, in which we explain the process of initiating, generating, and exporting a capture in FBX. The initial process of starting and recording a capture will be the same when exporting to GLTF. So our initial state will be the one you can see here, in which we have a capture registered in our record node. I can now pause the reproduction of my capture and reproduce it again at will. This means that our recording is already stored inside Blender, so we'll only need to go through the export process. If I select the armature, I'll be able to display all the keyframes that have been registered in our capture. Before we continue, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the GLTF file format. This type of file format is meant to be what JPEG was to image file sharing on the web. This means a compact, widely accepted format which will allow users to exchange 3D data information between different workstations, or in our case, completely different software platforms. GLTF was created by the Kronos Group, the same organization that manages OpenGL or Bullhunt. This group is led by the most important stakeholders in 3D creation. This format has quite a solid platform, which may render it the standard exchange file system for 3D production. Let's go back to our scene. You'll notice that the export process is pretty similar to the one we saw for the FBX file system. We need to select all of the elements, go to File, Export, GLTF. Here we can select the file name and simply leave all of the preferences to the standards. Though you may choose to isolate only the objects that are selected. Now you can export your capture. Blender may take a few seconds in order to generate the file. To visualize or export, just like we did in our FBX video, we'll use 3JS's editor. Once it loads, we can go to File, Import, and select the capture we've just generated. You'll notice it ends in GLB, which stands for GLTF Binary. I can now click Open, and once the mesh is loaded into my 3D scene, I can go to the right bars menu, select the action that I want to reproduce, and click Play. Just like we saw in our FBX video, we need to add a light to the scene in order to be able to display our mesh's texture, as 3JS's default scene comes with no standard light, otherwise would remain with a completely dark figure. This is how you can generate a GLTF version of your capture when working with one or multiple software packages. On that note, we'll be ending it for today. I'll see you again in our next tutorial.